Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, my brothers and sister. It's Sister Judy coming to you one more time. May the hope of God be with us always. And may we understand the will of God. Let's say a quick word of prayer before we start. Holy, holy, righteous are you, Father. I thank you each and every day for your fresh word. I thank you for reviving your people and I thank you for opening eyes and I thank you Father that you are never never too late this is why I give you thanks this is why I give you glory and this is why I give you praise in your holy precious name Yeshua HaMashiach I say amen and amen and amen brother and sister as I was still on Galatian I realize as I was reading Galatians 3, I don't have my Bible, I'm just on my walk, but sometimes there's just this burning inside of me. Even when I say I don't want to speak, I generally have to speak once I come to this little stream. And as I was reading Galatians 3 and I saw where Paul was talking to say, Oh foolish Galatian, who has bewitched you? Now I'm going to be saying it in my understanding as I started to listen to what Paul was writing. As if Paul was trying to say, the Galatian was bewitched by something that was not of God. And as I did that video, Galatian in a nutshell, it all come back to me that there was an arrow that went out and God people had been bewitched believing when Paul was speaking he was speaking about the Ten Commandments when Paul was really speaking about the ceremonial laws now when I started to see these things there is this fire that rage inside of me to know that God people have been bewitched for such a long time they have been on the bondage trying to please man-made law and they are doing away with the commandment of God because when you go back into Mark 7 1 to 10 I think it's in verse 7 I'm going to focus on verse 7 to 10 because I don't have my Bible here. Where the Lord is saying, I'm saying it in my word, where the Lord is saying unto the Pharisees, you worship the commandment of man, but yet you put away the commandment of God. And you look at it as the Lord is trying to say unto them, you people worship the outside to think things is all well done because you have on your long robe and because you have a title you think you can suppress God people but you know as I read it all I can see whitewashed sepulchre white looking good on the outside but inside of you it's dead man bones giving people all your arrow of message that has nothing to do with the Lord Jesus Christ and you bewitch the people for a long time but God said whatsoever you have bewitched my people in your arrow of doctrine I am going to lose it and show my people the truth and this is why I am in Galatian because the Lord said in Galatian is where you tie my people and in Galatian is where I'm going to lose them. We have to understand Paul was dealing with the ceremonial law, not the Ten Commandments of God. Jesus Christ came to fulfill the Ten Commandments, not to get rid of the Ten Commandments, people. And this is why I said you cannot love until you love God. And you cannot love God until you love His commandment. People open your eyes and see what God is saying. A lot of Paul's work or Paul writing was misinterpreted by people 
who are not walking in the spirit, who think they can Google or research Paul. You cannot do Paul until you get a hot, revealing, illuminating revelation from God, people. It's a hidden mystery within the mystery of the mystery of the mystery. So not until you're in the third dimension before you start to understand what Paul writes. And frankly, I must tell you when the Lord showed me most people that are behind four walls, you are still caught up in the second dimension. It's very sad to see when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time will be no more that a lot of people going to church will be left behind. People, it's time to get ready for the rapture. The Lord is coming. The rapture will be taking place very soon. The first fruit will be caught up. Do you want to be left behind with this gruesome things that will be happening, people? Do you want to spend all your life going to church and be left behind? Oh, what a weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth that will be. The Lord is coming, people. Get ready. Read the word for yourself. Get the full understanding. Knowing when Paul was speaking, he was speaking about the ceremonial law. Paul was sent unto the uncircumcised. The disciples were more with the circumcised. And this is why God had to use Paul. Paul was sucked from the breast. I want you to see God did not allow him to mingle with the disciples in the first part when God was teaching Paul himself. Because God did not want Paul to have an arrow of doctrine. Because he would be looking up to them because they walk with Jesus, they talk with him. But yet still they did not have the full understanding of the spiritual realm of God. So sometimes God will have to separate people so people cannot indoctrinate them with their arrow of doctrine, with all this garbage that we are feeding God people on and causing God people to do things that is not of God. I'm telling you, there's a fire burning inside of me that I just feel like each time I said, I'm, I'm going to be silent on this. But then I remember what God has said unto me. My landmark has been removed. And you going back to be one of them old time Christian. You will do the fixing of my landmark that has been removed. I say this brothers and sisters. Because the word I speak, they come from God. The word I speak is not my own. I am a vessel that the Almighty God will be using in this last day. So I will not be speaking the cookie jam, the sweet, the fried chicken message. I will be giving it to you the way my Father want me to give it to you. Because you got to have the knowledge of what God is saying if you want to be caught up to be one of the first fruits. I think I'm going to leave it here. But I'm telling you, with that stickle that went into Holy Ghost and gave me that fresh revelation. Oh, brothers and sisters, I feel like fire shut up now within my bones. And even though I don't want to speak, I have to speak it. This is love ministry, brothers and sisters. This is Sister Judy coming to you from my glorious walk with the Lord this morning. From my glorious time with my father, knowing in the cool of the day, we can hold hands and walk together, listen to my father speaking, and all I have to do is say what my father is saying to me. God bless you all again, brothers and sisters. I know sometimes the word cut like a two-hedged sword. But that's the way God has to give it some time for us to understand. God bless you all again. This is Love Ministry.
I seal this word with the ring of Yeshua HaMashiach. I seal it in the blood of the Lamb. God bless you all. God bless you.